today and this week really is the culmination of three years of work to do something that we believe is truly remarkable and benefits all of humanity. Today what we're proving is the on-premise, in-robot data processing capability. So the ability to ingest maritime information, process it completely on the robot, make an inference about what's important, and then reprogram the robot completely on its own to go back and test for additional information. To do that, we had to create a very smart, first of its kind, deep ocean robot, end-to-end, -end, full autonomous data collection and automatic target recognition. So that will allow us to build a scaled fleet that can go out on its own without humans all over the globe at some point in the future and collect data persistently, just like satellites are collecting data in outer space. And it's smart enough to understand completely on its own that it found something that's of interest. In this case, something that a person made. Using machine learning, we're actually able to identify regions of interest. These little green boxes outlying objects here in the screen. So those objects then get turned into regions of interest and those get populated on the operator screen so that a new mission can be programmed. From one sensor, we can actually get the bathymetric map, that's like kind of, you think like LiDAR of the subsea floor. As we grow and add more sensors, we're gonna keep adding layers and layers of data for machine learning algorithms to learn from and uh, be more precise and provide more intelligence in the ocean. Our vision with Teradep is to map the entire Earth's ocean, uh, to include data in the water column. So we're collecting chemical data, biological data, environmental DNA. We gather high resolution, deep ocean data. We process it and then we offer it to customers in a format that people can use and interact with the ocean and connect with it better. 98.5% of all the livable space on our planet is in the ocean, but we've yet to explore it to any degree of high resolution or certainty beyond about 10%. Sadly, until the last few years, like the ocean was just sort of boring to people. As far as autonomous submersibles go, it's been 30 plus years of development in the works. To do what we're trying to do 10 years ago would have taken a boat that's three, four times the size. Aim here is to remove or minimize the human from the data acquisition loop. To do that, we had to really invest in developing brand new machine learning algorithms to basically do the identification of targets automatically. It's doing what it wants to do and we're just supervising it and then it will automatically generate an expected mission plan. And once we approve that mission, then it's going to go ahead and do it. We'll let it go and, and take as much data as it, as it needs to. We've made the deep ocean now accessible through advancements in subsea autonomy and machine learning and artificial intelligence and simply scale. Uh, we expect to have thousands of these things constantly uh, circulating in the Earth's oceans, collecting data 24-7, 365.